As you all know, I come across some awesome deals at awesome prices that sometimes require just a little bit of work. But over the years, I've collected special brass pieces that I've often used to style my home, along with unexpected accents. You've seen me thrifted silver pieces that was in pretty bad shape, and I brought them back to life using one simple product, and I will have that link down below on how to clean your silver pieces. But now, many of you wanted to know how to clean brass. And there are so many natural ways to clean your brass using vinegar and salt and flour. And you can even use ketchup, tomato paste, or sauce. Even lemon and salt. But I wanted something quick and easy. And many of you have may already have it in your kitchen sink and it's barkeeper's friend. This will get the job done literally in minutes. This pair of vintage cranes are from the flea market and you have seen me style them in a couple of ways. They're tarnished and they're not so pretty. And as I've always said, this is what people walk away from because it's not so pretty. But some people love the tarnish and patina look that's on it and that's okay. But for under $3, you can get this 26 ounce bottle of Barkeeper's Friend from almost any store, Target, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, and even your grocery store. But Barkeeper's Friend originally came in a non-abrasive pattern, but they also have it in a liquid with, which makes it so much easier to clean rather than making a paste with it with the powder and all you do is shake the bottle really well give your brass pieces a bath in it and just pour the liquid onto a cloth and rub and it will take the patina off almost instantly So here's the comparison. It's like night and day. If you have copper pieces, there's also a cream for it as well and it's by rights. And you can also follow up with this after cleaning your brass as a polisher for that extra shine. Another cleaner is Brasso. I've tried this and I'm just not a fan of it for three reasons. It smells bad and you will work harder on trying to get it off. And you have to be very careful because you can remove the finish on it if it's left on too long. Here's another example of how Barkeeper's Friend cleaned my vintage tulip candlesticks. They're also from the flea market and I got them for a dollar. This one is super tarnished and I did the same technique I did on the cranes and look at the finished product. pair of ducks are also from the flea market. Although it says $25 for the pair, I haggled the vendor down to $10 for the pair. I couldn't wait to get it clean, so I only cleaned one to show you again how this product removes the tarnish and dirt grime off so easily, even on the tough stains. Now once again, give it a bath. On some brass pieces, you will see deeper stains. I'm telling you guys, this will take it right off. For those nooks and crannies and those hard to reach places, use a toothbrush, then rinse really well under warm water, then dry with a clean cloth and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Another brass piece I got for $4 from the flea market is this bowl. And yes, I'm using BK and I'm using the same technique I used on the other pieces. But I want to share with you that you can make a beautiful faux succulent planter for only a few dollars just by getting your supplies from the Dollar Tree. I'm using a round floral disc and it was a little too big so I trimmed it down just a little. Then I placed moss on top of it. But you may need to hot glue it or glue it down just to keep it in place. And then I added these succulents I got from the Dollar Tree. I popped them out of the original container and just place them inside.
on my Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise, I posted a video on this evidence cabinet I scored from the flea market for only $25. It was used in a police station of all places for holding evidence. My plan is to use it in my home office for storage supplies. Now I'm on the fence with either painting it white or this blush pink and I'm painting the hardware gold because I think it will go great with the other accents that are already in the space. So let me know down below your thoughts. I truly enjoy reading each and every comment. You guys are so hilarious and I want to thank you all for watching.